Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. And this is Teddy, our <laughs> producer and supervisor. <laughs> Crafters, we've all been there. You're working on a project and you need one item, but you can only purchase it in bulk. Yes, we recently did a macrame project where we needed one macrame ring and we were left with 49 extra. Today, we're going to try to tackle making projects using these wooden rings and hopefully decluttering a little bit. Yes, it's spring is here and we like to purge for yes. spring cleaning. So we're gonna use what we got. We found our macrame rings online. Of course, they came in a huge bag with all different sizes. So the first thing we did was just sort them by size to know what we're working with. I have no clue why they sell bags this big, but the good thing about it is that they were super inexpensive. Yes, that's very true. We're gonna be creating a series of vases, but first we needed a base piece to uh, have on the bottom there. So we just traced it on a piece of cardstock and cut it out to size and then glued the ring right to the bottom there. Yeah, you really could use whatever you have, like cardboard or I even feel like a, just any type of thick paper would really work. And then we just started to glue and stack our rings. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, and you could use wood glue for this, but we found the glue gun to work really well just because it's nice and quick, and we always gravitate towards really quick projects. Yes, you wanna make sure you don't use too much glue because you don't want any seeping out of the sides there. Yeah, totally, and you don't want any gaps as well. Now, it looked great as is, but we thought we would add just a little bit of color, so we pulled out our acrylic paint and you know just lightly painted it on. Again, you don't wanna gloop it on where you have uh, globs of paint, so I think layering is always a good tip when painting. Yes, less is more, and actually for this, we worked in sections uh, just to kind of help the painting process. This will make it easier to glue together once they're all dry, because uh, we did wanna create a colorful ombre effect on our little vases there. Yeah, I thought that was a really good tip. I thought we were just gonna kind of glue the whole thing together and then paint it, but Dennis had the idea just so it looked uh, more clean to do it in sections. Yes, we wanted so to keep smart. this easy, you know, Absolutely. easy breezy. Yeah, so now we just glued it all together. I mean, really, uh, we just love easy projects, so this is just always like the best. And what's so funny is that apparently this is a trending thing. Uh, we recently saw that they carry something very similar to this at Urban Outfitters. So we're, we're trendsetters, baby. I can't believe it. And this is much more inexpensive for sure. For our next project, it's the same concept. Uh, we're gonna make a little holder for our faux plants. We have so many of these little faux plants, we never know where to put them. So I, I don't know, I just thought this would be like an easy fix, you know? Yes, and actually for this, we're using two different size of the wooden rings there um, and just stacking them. They kind of look like uh, pool tubes. I know, you kept saying that. You know, that. like yes. something that you would, you would have at the pool. Yes, I know, it makes me want like a margarita yes. or something. Uh, and the same concept, we just, uh, glued them together, painted them in sections, and then glued them together again. I mean, come on, this is so cute. And we didn't even worry about putting a bottom on this one because, you know, we really don't need it, but you could totally do that. Oh my gosh, I, these came out so great. They really did. All right, the pack came with these teeny little rings. We're gonna make the quickest project with these. It's basically gonna be the same thing, but yeah. just with smaller, like Smaller rings. rings, yeah, yeah. you know, but tea is cute, it's always yes. cute, right? Yes, and it will have a different purpose. Sure, maybe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now, I used to work at the Union Square Holiday Market during the holidays selling what are called cork buds. It's basically a little wine cork with a little air plant in there and people went crazy. Oh my gosh, they were upselling these for so much. It was genius. Yeah, I remember. Yes, I, I would stand there in the cold for eight hours selling these cork buds. Oh my gosh. So when we saw these little ones, we were like, what can we do with it? Well, I it just kind of clicked, you know? Yes, make a mini cork bud. So same thing as we did before, but this time we're adding on a little magnet. Yeah, this way we can put it on our fridge or even give it as a gift. It's so cute. We just love how all these came out and just so happy we could purge a bit and be crafty at the same time. Yes, we wanna hear from you in a comment below about which craft materials you've been hoarding and had to buy in bulk and that are just sitting around your home waiting to be used and have new life. Yes. We wanna know, cause there's tons here. Yeah, let us know in a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe cause we're needy. <laughs> yes, and, and we'll see you we'll soon. See you soon. Bye. Happy making.
I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. A little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun is their cup of tea. Bring your hot glue gun. Grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the Crafty Lumberjacks. Can't read my cue card.